Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from computergargar.com. This tutorial will look at using the mod function within Microsoft Excel. Now the mod function is used to find the remainder of a number when divided by a divisor. In the example in this sheet, I am selling muffins and I need to courier them to the clients who I've sold them to. Um, we ship our muffins in three different types of boxes. We have box A, box B and box C, which as you can see on the sheet, handle a maximum number of muffins. The sale of muffins is in column D, and I would like to know which of those boxes is the most efficient. To do that, I will use the mod function to divide the number of muffins sold by each of them boxes, and hopefully the least muffins remaining would show me the most effective type of box that I can use. So onto the mod function, we're just going to look at typing it straight into our Excel sheet and discuss it as we go. So in cell E2, as we evaluate the efficiency of box A, I'll type equals mod, as it tells me there, returns the remainder after a number is divided by a divisor. And we'll put in the opening bracket to show me the arguments of this function. The first argument is the number. Now I want to know what number I am dividing. That will be my number of muffins. So in this example, it's cell D2. And because I know I wish to copy this across the columns F and G to evaluate boxes B and C, I'm going to press my F4 key, which is the quick way going through different types of cell referencing to fix column D, allowing me to copy this formula at a later date. I'll put in a comma to separate my arguments to ask me for the divisor. The divisor is the number that you are dividing by. In that case, it is how many muffins, what's the maximum muffins for that box. That data is in A2, which in this case is 12. And then I'm just going to put my closing bracket in and press enter. So I get the answer of 3. Yeah. If uh, 12 boxes was to be put into 15, I can fit you know, 12 in there and then there's 3 remaining. What I'd like to do now is just uh, check that by copying it over the other boxes which will tell me that either box A or B is the best to use in this scenario because they will only leave three remaining whereas box C, uh, a box of ten, they actually end up leaving five remaining. See box B I can fill up two boxes because it makes twelve leaving three remaining as well. I can then copy these down to find out how that fits with the others. See some of them fit perfectly. Boxes B and C are ideal here Whereas box A is quite poor, um, for the example of uh, shipping out 90 muffins. And that is the mod function. Uh, you see it in used in various scenarios in Excel. Um, but a job is to find the remainder of a number divided by a divisor. That's all for now. Please check out some of our other videos uh, on computergargoyle.com or come and find us on Facebook where we regularly post tips and other tutorials.